Holiday number three, Torridon, Scotland. Uh, well psyched, he's psyched, Joshua. I'm psyched. <laughs> Tom psyched, Tom One, psyched. Two, three, four. <laughs> We ain't got very far, and uh, we're already running across some issues. Basically, the boat's moving around. Nothing but a chemical in my head. There's nothing but laziness. Cause I don't want to read the book. Second stop for the holiday. Yeah, we made it about another 15 mile. The boat's moving again, so that's a funny one. This is what's happening. Do you know what I mean, like, <laughs> I think I'd rather play around. I'm just like everybody else. I'm just like everybody else. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are here. We are legally um, resting in the Premier Inn room. Very much Premier Inn, and we're very much in it. Uh, we're about to go into Edinburgh on the tram and uh, probably try and get some food and some culture because the Fringe Festival's on. Maybe some beer. I don't get hammered because I've got to drive like 400 Shut miles. Shut up, man. You can't afford it. You've only got 200 quid. You're not going to be able to get hammered in Edinburgh for that. Where have you got 200 quid? 80 quid a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're buying Parker. I know, I just realised it. Alright. We're uh, going to drive up to Torridon today from Edinburgh. It's probably going to take us all day, even though there's only half a day's work there. Mm. Because we're quite inefficient at the moment. And it's probably only going to get worse with living conditions. We're uh, meeting Sam about 11 o'clock, it's now 9 o'clock, so a couple of hours to kill. Torridon, we're in the caravan, settled in. Uh, first impressions are much better than expected. Everyone's happy. Much bigger. Mm. What we've seen, Brathigan has been quite impressive. Yep. We've never had a group trip this far up north, and it's taken about 13 hours to get here from home, and it's been a good trip thus far. We plan to be canoeing, hill walking, and climbing, scrambling, and getting wet, and getting dry. Mm. Uh, the caravan was built in the 50s, um, it stayed in the 50s. There's a lot of books uh, that I wish weren't, weren't there so we could put food on them shelves. But other than that, you know, it's quite, I don't really have any complaints really. See you tomorrow. Alright, we are just getting breakfast sorted, making some lunch. 
Been outside and there is a significant midge population out here. Yes. We're all hiked up in here, making as few possible trips outside. Um, yeah, it's not yeah. ideal. First trip of the holiday so far. Uh, going for a bit of a hike, a scramble, possibly. Um, we're going to do the horns of Allegan. Sounds good. Should be a good day. Getting a fair way up now. Getting near the top, which looks a bit cloudy, so I thought I'd do a bit of video here. Hell of a lot of midges. Hell Seems to be a hell of a lot of cloud. Yeah. And we've got most of the trek yet to do. Uh, no wind about. No wind, which is bad. But we're on holiday, which, which is, is good. good. So it's a good time we're having. Uh, hopefully, we should get around before it's dark. We're going somewhere over there. Oh, it's there. That's it. Oh, there it is. Look. So we need to get onto that. That bit of white thing over there. Just, just through break. That's the ridge up there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but we don't go down onto the left. So it's steep down here somewhere. All right. We are on the first Munro, officially. And now we're gonna go and do the rest of the horns of Allegan. How many horns are there? I have no idea. Nice. Okay. So stop saving me a sea for all I care. I am not following your silhouette. Cool. We made it over all the horns of Allegan. Yeah. We have successfully overcome Allegan. We have taken him. We've uh, not done it without problems. Those problems being midges, because we're getting absolutely wrecked by them. Midges are wrecking us. Shouldn't be too long that now. We just need to get um, get off this Munro, follow the river, some nice waterfalls, which I'm sure you'll see, and then back to the car where we'll demidge and drive back and remidge. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Jake Hampshire uh, about to baptise the sinner San Marks here in the hole. I feel um, sacred. I should be looking.
to be quick because we're getting absolutely Hello. destroyed by Midgey. We had a lovely swim. Um, we didn't have any swimming costumes, so that's why it was like it was. We're very good though, absolutely freezing. The park I reached about stage one hypothermia. Uh, I'm gonna have to call it there because I'm gonna get killed. Ah! Alright. 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 Hello. You've got uh, sort of us all almost set up for bed here. It's now seven past midnight. The question I have is are you enjoying your holiday? Yeah, because I'm on holiday, so you have to enjoy it. Undoubtedly. Dinner was big. Huh? What? Dinner was big. <laughs> Tom had possibly a good dinner. Twice as much as we ate. Nah. Dinner. But he had veg in it, so he had to eat twice as much. He had to eat twice, twice as much because he had the protein veg. lack. So, yeah. <laughs> Sam's Sam. had about seven beers. It's killed Sam. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I was having a dream though, actually. <laughs> Alright. Sam's had a few beers. Which means seven because he's definitely had seven beers. I don't know six beers. Oh, only six. Um, I no idea. So yeah, we'll sign off there. Another day tomorrow. Uh, a bit of canoeing. Hopefully it's another day. Hopefully another day tomorrow. <laughs> no, normally it happens. It's happened every day of my life so far. Well, I've seen. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we've just got up, showered, eaten, uh, put boats on roof, and we're getting ready to head out in the canoes. Um, gonna have a look around the lock, and it's gonna be great. The day is looking reasonable. No rain yet. It's good. Touch wood. Um, good work, Parker. Oh uh, yeah, we'll keep posted with it. Um, should be good. Right, we're gonna head out now. We're all kitted up, everyone's suited and booted. That's it. Yeah, should be good. Because everyone's psyched. Weather's good. Things yes. calm. Very good. nice. A beach somewhere, not quite sure where. Scotland caught a fish, oh, so now we're gonna catch loads more and have them for tea. We're gonna feast tonight, boys. Come Might on. do some swimming later, slash jumping in cliffs, jumping in cliffs, or jumping off them. That sounds painful, Fern. Yep, might miss that Let's out. Let's jump off the, 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 the only The only thing stopping us jumping off cliffs is the fact that we're nearly at low tide.
being a bit quiet because uh, I'm trying to catch some fish. Don't want to scare them off because they have well good hearing, I've heard. <laughs> Should have five by dinner time. Cook them up. Sorted. Hold on, hold on. I just realised how stupid this is. Just got the camera out in time. Three on there, four on there. Good old Tom, good old. Don't do that, bird. Eat them all day. Sam's got a fish on. Uh, you got three on back looks. Oh, loads. I think you filled it. I thought you filled her. You filled the line, Sam. I think you're the man. That is every hook. That, I think that's your best haul yet. So it's going on six o'clock. We're in the peace and serenity of Loch Torridon. Uh, the other two have gone over there now, so it's nice and quiet. And we're just done with a bit of fishing. Sam's with the ones we've got thus far. A good fish there. Eh? All in, we've probably had about 20 odd. 20. How are we going? Fish, we're going. All right, well, you've just caught me cooking the fish that we have just caught, and it's looking beautiful. Getting on with a bit of breakfast. Field day being in caravan, beans, eggs, a bit of toast, and uh, we've already had some porridge a bit earlier, which was lovingly prepared for us by Parker and presented in bed, so it's pretty good room service to be honest. Big point Sam's left us today, he was uh, dropped off in Loch Aaron this morning. Uh, Parker dropped him off, set off from here about 5 30. No, he didn't. 5 45 it was. That's what the word of balance is, it means yeah. around that time. Give or take you said 5.20 and I wanted to see how late you were. He got up at 5.20, we didn't leave at 5.20. I wanted him would, to get up because I knew it would take Last night you said it would leave at 5.20. Shut up! So uh, Sam's not here. Okay. We're going to have a, a bit of a play around, explore the local area. Flora and fauna. Generally, just enjoy our holiday because that is what we're here for. I ain't done that so far. <laughs> lying f You're lying <laughs> We're on someone's uh, yard and there is lots of good stuff such as this fantastic thing here uh, and these things here the more Range Rovers and some sort of Caterpillar 4x4 convert Alright, uh, we're just having a bit of lunch at the beach. Very slow day today, we haven't done a great deal but it's been quite nice. We are on holiday after all. Um, we found this little cove to have a bit of lunch in. It's very good. Gonna do a bit of fishing, a bit of drone flying, um, and suss out some possible swim, jump, canoe spots. Five years time, still collecting pens now to be at your door. It's my crime. 
just watching Caesars passing on the floor They don't touch me, my heart's in Alcatraz Oh, didn't see you there, just here on the beach Filling up the sea because these beaches are far too full of rocks. So we're just throwing them all off the beach into the water. They're like this. Caravan, getting a bit of tea on. Um, we've had a bit of a play today, really. We haven't really done a great deal, um, but we have had a good day. Definitely. I caught my first fish. Tomorrow, there's a storm coming, and it's going to rain, and it's going to be windy, and I think we're going to go out in the canoes. But we'll have to play it by ear because I don't want to get blown out to sea and killed. We're going to be day. out there in the six foot surf catching fish. And we never surfed a canoe actually. Also, we're going to see if we can find some more cliffs to do some more cliff jumping. Oh well, yeah, that'll be good. Come on, it's the two ton of fish that we have to harpoon. Don't forget your goggles. I won't. Although I probably will. I hope you remember when I picked mine up. Cheers, Fern. You're a good friend. You are the worst friend I have. Started on the morning activities. We've had uh, a shower, starting with brews, washing up, and then on to breakfast next. The weather was looking atrocious, but it's picking up. It should be fine for going and getting wet in boats. All right. Done. The storm that there is now is the best storm we've ever had because it's bright sunshine and windy, so no midges. Two boats on the roof is definitely the way forward. Uh, we're going to head out into the sea. Not the same place as last time, but the same sea. Good day, good weather, good crack. Full Rod Stewart maintenance on France, which is the island that we're on. It's a bit like France, but it isn't. There's less French people on it, so it's better. So it's better. That's in there. I have remembered some of the assembly steps, but this one is not lose the screw step. That is that is quite important. Oh, didn't see you there. We fixed uh, Rod Stewart. 
Tommy Westside's just barbing her up. Um, and we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and Rod Stewart a lot of mackerel. We've got a 300 LB cod <laughs> slash tuna. Like there's there's some big old fish on there, Tom. Some big old fish. Woohoo! Oh. Wow. So, so what we thought was one big fish is actually like five small fish. We've moved off mainland Scotland to a small island called Flants to avoid the midges because there's a lot of them. Uh, Flants is composed of two islands. That one. Which there's not all much happening on that one. Uh, this one. Where it's all happening. Uh, Getting smaller by the second. He's getting smaller by the second. When when we were here earlier to do the uh, Rob Stewart repairs, there's a lot more of it, and it was one island. But we'll just open it. All of it doesn't go in the water, and then we'll have a good good time. Either way, we're going to find out pretty soon. Oh, this is so warm. You all need to get in. It is lovely in here. It's really warm. Now, viewers, the funny thing is is Josh Parker is renowned for a lion. And what he's doing now is lying to you. You can, you can see a lion in his natural habitat. I've caught one. <laughs> they're a rare breed. Uh, they're not really worth anything on land, so we're gonna chuck this one back after we've fully killed it. Is it dead? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Right, we've got ourselves a dead liar on our hands. Like I said earlier, they're not really worth much on shore. Uh, it's not even worth the time or the energy to get it back on shore. So we're just going to toss it back to the sea uh, and hope it gets eaten by some, uh, some sea-dwelling homeless people. Um, so I'm, I'm drafted in my mate here, Tom. The west side. Uh, and we're just going to jack him in sea. So if you'd like to get the liar's legs, now look at his arms. On two, on three. And that's how you get rid of your, uh, that's how you get rid of your liars. If you need any help or further assistance, www.footforward.media. Um, find everything you need there. Do you need, do you need land support? <laughs> oh, my neck. <laughs> Crossfall's bad. How bad? Don't leak in canoe. No leaking. <laughs> Do you want a neck massage? Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? No yeah. falling. No leaking. No! We've just got back with canoes uh, and we've just lost the drone in the sea. It's a very sad day. Um, <clears throat> oh. It was going very well. Uh, we were having a very nice time. We've been all around the bay, spent a lot of time messing around on that little island that you'll have previously seen. Um, there should have been a lot of drone footage in this day. Uh, but unfortunately that's now at the bottom of the sea. Um, it was through no fault of anyone here. Apart from the people who make the batteries because yeah. it ran Unique. flat. Yeah, so if you're out there and you make batteries for unique drones... Do a better job. You're a <laughs> <laughs> But, <clears throat> as Fern aptly pointed out, there are plenty more drones in the sea. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not the only one. So, we're gonna pack up, go home, have some scran and have a good day tomorrow. Um, yeah. What's the problem? I've been cutting some onions uh, and I've lost my sight. Um, so it's a bit bad. I think I'm going to have to call it quits here with my holiday. <laughs> because I, I, I don't know where anything is. It's pretty, pretty awful, really. I don't think I'm ever going to eat onions again. Cause I, mainly because I can't see. It's 
cut me. I'm gonna have to wash my face, I'm sorry. <laughs>
here we are on Midge Island, also known as Viking Island. Uh, and I think Sam's found some gravestones. Come with me. I don't think there's anyone else on this island other than us. Uh, but supposedly, in the past, the Vikings came here, uh, settled, buried the dead, and hammered the coins into a tree. I don't know what the legitimacy of this is, but we're going to go and find out. Also, excuse the disguise, it's really me, Jake. There's definitely a graveyard over here. There's a lot of Scottish names on these tombstones. Would you like to go and read some? Thought you would. We could dig them up. We could. I don't think we should. Why? That's grave robbing, Tom. And we've just found these trees with loads of coins hammered in. Just two of these. Aye. There's some new quids in there. Do you not just think that's a 2p? That is not a 2p. It's big for a 2p, isn't it? This is Ayrton. 1928, that says on it. We're at this tree full of Viking coins. And we feel like we should add to it, being as we've been here. We weren't going to, but we'd seen other people have. There we are. That, that officially makes us Vikings. All right. All right. All right. You uh, may be wondering, looking at us right now, why we're still in our canoeing gear, and some of us are in much less than our canoeing gear. Well, the reason is that we got the canoes out only to find the singular largest population of midges on the planet, and so we had to evacuate the, the vicinity very quickly. It does mean we look a bit odd now, uh, because we're all still wearing our, our gear, and we're, and we're quite wet. Ab just took his clothes off to put his clothes on and he smells incredibly bad. Yeah, we're going to go to the pub in Shield Egg and it should be nice. Should be, but it won't be because we smell. You smell. You smell. I'm glad I smell and you don't like it. You're the smelliest man I've known. But yeah. Well, shop a big town. Hello. We may look tired because it's 1am and we just sort of in the middle to finishing dinner uh, it's been a pretty long day so we didn't get back here until about what 11 30 something like that maybe midnight going on midnight so it's been quite a late one we had a good day though drive for nearly the whole day mm. it's got a on a little bit but i got wet when i jumped in loch marie i got i got wet when i jumped in yeah Loch Marie was very good though. It was nice to be in a bit of uh, water, of water, fresh, fresh water, water as opposed to salt water. Should I'm very tired. Oh, I need to finish my meal. Bloody anthem. Morning. Morning. We got an early one this morning, straight up and out. We're intending to do a bit of bouldering. But we ain't. Nah, because it's mid-year. Scotland's yet again proved itself to be the midgey capital of the world. I've never known it so still in my entire life. But the scene is a good. Sam's the keenest, so he's cracking a boulder problem off. Uh, that's, you just gotta let Sam get on with it and that keep him happy, you know. Oh, I don't take my shoes off because of fear of losing my feet to the midges. Golly gosh, these midges oh. are very uncomfortable. Bloody hell, that was good. That's what I'm saying. Nice walk, Sam. We've just come back from bouldering because we got rained off and midged off. Uh, the boulders got pretty wet and the midges were pretty fierce and so we came home. We went uh, to a little smoke house on the way back to see some uh, smoked fish and cheese and ended up buying some because we are tourists. Yeah, should be nice. 
got to bed as soon as it works. All right. Hello. 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 All right. So, 1630. Is it? Really? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right. 16.30. So yeah. an evening session. We got up nice and early to make the most of the day and got rained off. And now we're in the bit of the day that we weren't trying to make the most of and it's perfect weather. So we're going to go and get wet. Actually, yeah, that is a good point. So there's a um, supposed sea arch according to a 1990 map. Um, we're going to go see if it's still there in the canoes. Uh, it could well not be. So don't get your hopes up. Show everyone your Aris fern. There you um, go. Well, do that again. I'll, I'll show you my Aris. What words for wear? You need to bend over and touch your toes. No, I'm, I'm scared I'll rip it. I'm going to try and. Oh, oh right. serious, all we Right. That's it. Right. We've reached the sea arch, um, and unfortunately it has collapsed. So that's not very good. Bit of a shame. You can just see it behind me now. It's about here. Shame not to see it, but um, I'll press on and find something else cool to do. Find some mint stuff. How's it going, Sam? Yeah, good. I'm impressed with the uh, cliffs around here. Oh Quite yeah. Good. good. Hello. Hello. We're on an island in the middle of the sea. We've seen loads of uh, seals, which was really cool. They came up real close to the boat and uh, we saw one sat up on this island before we got on it, like laying in the sun, so that was nice. Uh, doing a bit of jumping in. Very good. It's going on seven o'clock. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I believe, oh I believe. Here I am again. I'm here. It's me. Look how sunny it is on our holiday. Uh, judges would give a uh, 7 out of 10. <laughs> that hurt a lot! <laughs> that, was, that was quite painful! I don't call you scuba fan that. for nothing. You get shot down there. I got pull in. That was probably the best one yet. Do. That'll do for now. This is what you want to do, so he's going to say no. <laughs> That's the reason. Brace, brace, brace. Shut yeah. the door, shut the door. Shut the door. <laughs> shut the door. Everyone bangs Wipe yourself off. Wipe yourself off. off. Morning. 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 We didn't get a chance to do a vlog last night. A bit tired. Forgot. But basically we had a good day canoeing yesterday. It's about 9am now. It's a big day. 10 hours roughly out on the mountain. Two Munros. So yeah, two Munros in one day. Good. I love a lot of midges outside. I love a lot. I love a lot. Although that, I notice is becoming a recurring theme in this film. It's like it's like a midge sanctuary where all the old midges come to do the dying and biting. I reckon you can definitely smell us as well. I can smell you. Yeah. 
Right. We're uh, heading up the attack. We got Monsieur Amshayere here. We're well prepared today with 100% skin coverage in some cases and lots of midge repellent. So come at us, midges. Actually, don't. Please leave. It's okay. It's okay. Right. 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 We're at the summit of the attack, which is where we were initially aiming for, uh, which is mint. It's absolutely great up here. Um, yeah, we're going right. to continue along the ridge behind us, if you can see, um, which goes over to the next Munro. So this is the first of the two. It looks quite a long way, but it's not. It's simply a few strides away. Really, really massive strides. Yeah. We've still got plenty of daylight left. I hear a voice call, calling out for me. These shackles I made in the town to be free. Be it for ease, be it for love. I won't take the ease. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Up here, about halfway through the ridge. The weather's coming out nice. The clouds burned off. The views are good. Uh, it's busier than we'd normally expect, but it is a Saturday. It's like the M1. It's, it's not like the M1. It's not like the M1, as long as you stick to rule one. Don't fall off. Then you should be right. We're about halfway down the ridge. The weather is, well, see for yourself, the weather is magnificent. The best day we've had so far for the weather. So we're enjoying the sunshine, relaxing a bit, and uh, topping up our tans. Uh, apart from Sam, Sam's, I don't know if you can see him, he's got a little yellow dot down there. All right, Sam! There he is. Uh, he's pushing on pretty hard, but we're not. We're having a good time. We're going to continue up there, and then we're going to go back down there to the car, which is just around the corner. It's going to be good. We've just reached the summit of the second Munro of the day. We're not actually stood on it because that's just behind the camera, but down here it looks even minter, so that's why we're stood here. It's only 16.45 and um, we've still got the whole day ahead of us basically, going on our normal timings, so we're just going to carry on enjoying it. All right. All right, all right. Um, we've separated from Sam and Parker. We uh, stopped up there for a bit of a sit down and they carried on and uh, we fell asleep. Now we just want to try and locate them. 
and uh, just looking out over here, there's a bit of water over there that looks like it has two people in it. So that could potentially be them. So If it isn't, I'd be well surprised because the laugh that was coming across the valley sounds a hell of a lot like Sam's. <laughs> All right, we're uh, just heading to bed now. It's been a pretty long day, quite a big day in the uh, activity department. I'm well tired, didn't even want to do a vlog thing, but we're doing it anyway. Um, so apologies for the tiredness. Tomorrow's our last full day, so we'll probably not make the most of it. I mm. want to see how quickly I can fall asleep. All right. I think he's gone. Do you think he's gone asleep there? Sam? Sam? You all right? Oh no, he hasn't. Start right. Oh, no, he's not asleep. You woke me up again. Uh, see you tomorrow. I'll sign us off. Let's watch some gag reel. Over and out. Morning. Morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. It's uh, 1300. We only got up about two hours ago, if that. We just had lunch and breakfast at the same time because it was lunchtime, but we didn't want to miss breakfast really. Uh, so, porridge and sandwiches it was. We're going to head down, well, not down, up the coast that we haven't been before and visit a beach called Sand. Which is promising. Yeah. Because the rest have been seaweed and rock. Yeah, so a beach named Sand, I mean, it's got to have sand, hasn't it? Not very original, the Scots, are they? No. Might have been the first sand they ever saw. Mm. Might be. Might be, yeah. He's right. Yeah, might be Amp. Alright, <clears throat> we're at the beach uh, called Sand. We've just come down here for a bit of a look. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do here. We'll go have a look at the beach, see what the crack is. Uh, might get the boats out, might not. The last day of the holiday and we're at the seaside, we're at sand. It's very good here, there's wind, no midges and sand as Parker previously stated. This is a lad who's just come to join us. His name is Dog. Dog. Dog Robinson. This is Dog Robinson. <laughs> Last day spending it on the beach. What a better way, really. Here we are, Sands Beach. Uh, very exciting. before until today there's only two in the wild and we found both of them this is rare beyond belief and now we will go and slaughter the jeeps and put them in a museum around the coast from where we're staying. We've taken a quick visit to uh, Apple Cross Photographic Gallery, which was a bit of a touristy excursion for us since we hadn't done many. Um, had a really good time. Would you recommend? A fellow in there taking some good photos. So if you're in Apple Cross, make sure you visit the gallery. Alright, 
I'm just uh, driving along, caught a bit of deer outside the uh, outside the car right next to the road. What you came for, finally what you hoped to find, racing on from her house, looking out for black and white, dark days in the summer. Just here on this ramp, because uh, we found it. Uh, we're pulling in the back off the zoo and leave. It's Min. <laughs> it's Min. Look how Min it is. <laughs> this is Min. All right. All right. Just in bed on the final night in the caravan. It's a very sad time because this caravan is the place to be. Today we haven't done a great deal, but it's been enjoyable. Uh, done some more touristy stuff, but we're gonna have to do a lot of packing and uh, cleaning probably tomorrow. Oh yeah, because we're all uh, we're all pretty filthy. But not not ourselves mainly. We might have cleaned ourselves. Mainly a bit, ourselves. But the caravan is a bit of a state. And then um, then we can be off for the ten hour drive back. Should be good. But yeah, overall, highly recommend the place. If you want to stay in the caravan, you're gonna have to Google caravans. Useful. And so you should be up <laughs> fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Just uh, <coughs> got up and we've had our breakfast. Now we've got to start the we've mammoth. Had half of it. We've had some of it. We've got to start the mammoth task of uh, cleaning the caravan and emptying it first, uh, which we're not looking forward to. But hopefully it'll work go too slowly. It's about half eight now. We're aiming to leave for about ten. Um, I don't know if we're on track on that, we'll see how long this takes. Absolutely not. Uh, yeah. Done! Mad. Done she's that. empty, she's clean. She's premium. Alright, so we're just leaving the caravan now. We've done a lot. We've used the caravan a lot. We've fully made use of the area and had a great week. I'm sure we'll be back again because we've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. I think I speak for everyone there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit sad to see back a bit really. A shame the holidays over. But I'm sure there'll be another one. And uh, it's been quite an experience. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs>